I'm going to walk you through how to create a landing page and convert kit and show you how easy and quick it can be so that you can start building your email subscriber base. So once you sign up for an account, whether that is a free trial, a free plan, or you're actually a paid subscriber, you will have a screen that looks like this. And so you'll have all of these options up here at the top. Um, and today we're going to focus just on landing pages and forms. So if you scroll down, you can see all of the different landing pages that you have created as well as their conversion rate. Um, we're going to go ahead and create a new one. So I'm creating a new freebie. Uh, it's not quite ready yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and create the landing page. So you can create a form, which would be a, you know, a basic newsletter subscriber form, or maybe even a pop-up for your website. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and build a landing page. And you can see they have a lot of different options. ConvertKit is really, building out their landing page part of their business. So they do email marketing, but they also are landing pages. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this one right here. And you can see when you first get to the page that they kind of lay out for you what you should be putting in each little section. So they make it really easy right off the bat. Um, I am gonna go ahead and start off with changing this image. So go down here to replace image. I already have some images in my account. I'm gonna use this one. And there you go. I don't actually think I'm gonna put my company name up here right now, so I'm gonna delete that, but you can see it still keeps a placeholder for you in case you change your mind. And I've already actually written out the copy for my landing page, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste. And in these fields that the guests fill out, I actually like to ask for their name as well. So you just click on that plus sign and you'll get a new field. And up here, I'm gonna go ahead and select first name. Um, you are able to create your own fields. If there's something else that you wanna collect, that's fine. But email address, first name and last name are the typically the, the main ones people ask for. And I am going to make it required. I do actually want to move that, so I'm going to make first name first, it's just a little bit more logical filling it out. So there we have it. There is my, you know, basic design of my landing page right there. So the next thing I'm going to do is add some branding elements to make it a little bit more on brand for my things. To start out, you can click on the little magic wand button and I'm going to change the font. So I typically prefer sans serif headings and you can see they have a lot of different fonts in here. You have serif over here, sans serif, and then you have sort of your script or more fun fonts. For this, I'm gonna use Leto for my heading. And for my body, I'm going to use PT serif. Um, and then the next thing I wanna do is change this overlay color. So it's currently black and um, with an opacity of 20%, but I'm gonna make it gray. I'm gonna use my gray tone instead of black. Brighten it up a little bit and then let's check this. Yeah, I'll stick with like 15%. I think that looks good. And then the form background being white, that is totally, that's totally fine with me. Um, now what I wanna do next is I'm gonna change the color of the heading. So I'm just gonna click on the heading and it'll change this box over here. You can see it's currently gray. I'm gonna go ahead and change it to my orange color. And the font size is fine and I wanna change it to bold. And then I also wanna change this orange color down here. So just click on it. close <laughs> um, and yeah that's looks good the text I will change to again to my gray color and the font size is fine and then right here I'm gonna change to a light blue color And 
and normal font weight is fine. Great, so let me just preview real fast. It does cut off my head a little bit, but I am okay with that. It's not about my head. It's about the CTA down here. So the only other thing I'm going to do real fast is, yes, I wanna make these all capitalized. Since first name was all capitalized. Okay. Um, and now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and create a thank you page. So if you just hit on this plus sign, it says add thank you. It gives you a little pop up. It'll copy all the things that I input on the previous page over. So you can see my images here with my color and my opacity and my brand colors. So all I'm going to do real fast is just add this. Um, say that is on the way. And I want to bold that. Then I'm going to actually add some links to my YouTube channel and my blog. So you can see those are linked there. Um, and to add a link, all you would do is highlight what you want, add it, click on the link function, and then add your link right there. The other thing you can do on these pages is if you click on this plus sign, you can insert an image or a button or make things in numbered lists and unordered lists, block quote, whichever you want. Um, this is really comes in handy if you're building more of a, a long, for, long form sales page. In my case, my pages are really basic and they're pretty short, so I don't need a lot of additional formatting and things to keep it interesting. But if you were creating a longer page, that is how you would do it. And they do have templates for longer sales pages. On this page, I am going to add my company name. And change the letter spacing just a little bit, font size a little bit bigger. Great. And then I'm gonna go back to my original landing page. And now that I'm done with the design portion, I wanna focus more on the settings. So you'll go to this next button, which is a little gear icon. And after they subscribe to the page, I want to redirect them to the thank you page that we just created. And um, you can also redirect them to an external page. So if you had a page on your website or even a thank you page on your website, you could do that as well. I am gonna send them an incentive email. So this will be sent to them as soon as they put in their email address so they can confirm their subscription. To edit that email, you just click on edit email and this will just be a basic form. So I'm gonna edit it a little bit. So as soon as they get this, they'll be able to access the free download. And this auto saves, so you don't have to worry about saving it. You can just X out of it. Um, and the other thing you could do is send them to that confirmed subscription page or the thank you page, or you could actually go ahead and upload your file and have it immediately send them to a tab to download. In my instance, my freebie isn't quite ready yet, so I can't upload it at the moment. I'm just kind of getting this landing page ready to go for when it is ready. And then you can also, yes, send subscriber to thank you page, add some captcha if you have a problem with spammers or anything else, or even add some custom things over here if you want to. But for the most part, that is pretty much it. Let's go ahead and preview one more time. Yes, that all looks good to me. And I'm gonna go ahead and save it right here. Great, that's it. So that's how easy it is to create a landing page and convert kit, regardless of what plan you're on, you will have access to all of these features. Thank you so much for sticking with me, you guys. And I come out with a new video every week, so be sure to subscribe to not miss any of your digital nomad or online business tips. See you next week.